Kaboom! Welcome back, everybody. This is Amit. And Dominic. And we're back for another episode of the AIB show. Dominic's coming to us from another lovely hotel venue. Um, I've been home in two months. Before we get months. into this week's episode. Two months. It's been two months? You look like you're losing weight, though, dog. So good on you. I actually gained a lot, honestly. That Rona knocked right. it a lot off. So. And then you had five back on. You're like, I'll show you. <laughs> well done. Good plan. Before we get into this, I have a quick little thing I wanted to discuss with Dominic right now. It is currently 10.19 in the a.m. on a Thursday. Dominic has my Calendly app and has selected the time of 10 to 11 to do this. Dominic goes up to this meeting by default, a minimum of 10 minutes late, whenever he's the one who schedules the meeting. It's not me just saying, hey, Dominic, do 10 o'clock. It's him saying, yo, let's do 10 o'clock. And he's forever late. And it perplexes me. I know you're from Jamaica. I get that. And, right, we can play every stereotypical game you want to say, or you're, you're, you're mixed with every Caribbean thing, which is innate of you being late. But yet, you're constantly late. Do you not block off time in your calendar like an adult saying, Hey, I can't talk to you between the hours of, or between this hour, not even hour, a singular hour that you have selected? And then you go, it's one minute. G is what he says to me. G is what he says to me. May I proceed? As if I'm the one who's out of order. May I respond? Continue. Yeah, by all means, please. How much, how much bumba kind of times you are late to Friday freestyle? Never. Not, not the you joke. Not the joke. Oh, not. Dude, hold on. Are you? Are you never going to? When you go, not on the, the joke. Not the team. joke. Why, listen. No, no, not the when joke. I mean, actually late and be like, yo, I can't make this call. Listen? Oh, yo, I can't make this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not true. That is very, very. Oh, true. I, I, I even texted you last time. I even texted you laughed and said, if we did this reverse, you would be vexed. I'm just saying, man, I don't know how somebody's this consistently late and still has a job. <laughs> Are you late to all your meetings? Like, how does this work? No, I gotta lie, they got kind of close often. Oh, traffic. Oh, traffic. <laughs> that, that's kind of the thing. You know? Dude isn't dude isn't driven anger. He obviously hasn't put on any, any appropriate attire to dress up, but yet still late. I don't understand how this is possible, but continue. And like this today, but why don't you go? Why don't you go first? Talk to us, Dominic. And line the audience heart about disease. something that's... Okay, we're back on heart disease again? Yes. All right, go ahead. It ails us. We need to fix this. So, just randomly, you probably don't know, there was an unreleased track I... that Drake, Drake and, and Kanye have beef, all right? Drake released an unreleased track from Kanye's new album. You probably didn't even know Kanye had an album out, did you? No, I know Kanye had an album. I, I refuse okay. to listen to okay. it. So he had an album. Drake released a song that wasn't on the album with Andre 3000 from Outcast, who is the GOAT and never gets put in GOAT conversation. Anyway, oh, he is the G. Hold up, Drake has a 3000 to... song? Because Drake's album is no, a weak song. No, like, Kanye, has a, Kanye yeah. has a 3000 oh, song. Drake released it. it. You know, that puts me in a um, situation Kanye's, there. In it, he says, talking about his parents who are both dead, no coincidence, they both both passed away from heart conditions. No shit! It's the number one killer in America. And disproportionately so for minority black and Hispanic communities because of the lifestyle. What is going we, on in America? Okay, I want to realize this. We discussed this, never, we know, discuss this at nausea. Remember me and like racism and all this and, and police? It's it's still we'll there. Remember Don't you. Fret. That's all people know you for. <laughs> yeah, we soon come back to that. Don't fret. We're going to come back to that. But you know, we have we have a particular friend who's got the diabetes. Remember that commercial? <laughs> diabetes. <Wilford> Brimley. <laughs> Wilford Brimley. And we're we're chatting. That dude. Uh, killed, that dude still. That dude was old from when he was young. That dude never looked young in my entire life. So he so was this old, friend, old grandpa. <laughs> Whose name rhymes with Laco? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They'll never crack that code, Dominic. Well done. Um, you know we're talking, and, and he's joking. He, he's got his diet coke and his big bag of Doritos while we're on on a on a Zoom call and everything. And I'm like, you know, he's telling Braden, my son comes in. And he goes, look, Braden, these are Doritos. You probably have never had these. I was like, no, he, sure. my son's got Doritos. It's about moderation. That's the problem. When it's the lifestyle every single day, um, come on, America, to so use policy, be, be better. What's your, what's your better. solution? 
My solution is self-education, right? But also the messaging. Again, when you have the mayor of New York sitting on stage promoting fast food to get it back, okay. it should who be a is, dual, who is a going dual, to, okay. a dual messaging. Health, who, who, vaccine, uh, health, okay. vaccine, Israel, right? But I said when COVID is gone, this is yeah. Still let's, gonna, say, let's say in a COVID-free world, right? Yes. Let's let's take one thing out of there. How do you pres- how do you propose that so it, it that, starts in, that in our public school get- system? But I saw I saw something on the news yesterday in a local Palm Beach County. Can't remember which school. There's a there's the whatever the call head of the cafeteria. She's taken a passion into this, mm-hmm. and she's got the school system on board where they're into like when they have chicken sandwiches, right? They're making the bread from scratch. Mm-hmm. To ensure that when you get the processed bread, the other ingredients here that you don't need, things of that nature. They're a lot. They're providing. They on Taco Day. They're also making um, like veggie tacos, right? For anybody that wants. And it's it's little things like that in the public school system. When when my daughter was in public school, uh, my wife, you know, was alarmed by the fool and tried to speak up and, and say things. And there was a joke that like, yo, you don't mess around with that. Like, like these people take you out like like it's a it's an internal mafia system in terms of the money being involved and everything like that um but that's the way to start you know i know michelle do, obama do, this is her i don't know how much progress or how little progress she made i'm ignorant into that about what she did i remember that was her main focus as first lady was about the youth and and, and food and fitness um i'm hoping she do made us remember do you remember about you do you remember how many fajitas you would eat at University of Miami cafeteria on a given at a given meal? Just one meal. No. Okay. The fajita that was provided for you, you could have said less of this, more of this, whatever. Like it was built for her. I yes. want chicken and these things and yeah. on this wrap or no wrap, whatever you want. Yeah. So you had every option possible. And how much junk food you did know? I eat in the little store there? What, whatever. Yeah. You opted for a significant amount of fajitas. The thought process was, one, they're pretty damn good. Two, I'm paying for it and eat it, right? This is always a back-end thought process when food is, um, when yeah. it's a buffet-style situation. Oh, jeez. And, yeah. Right? So all this stuff is there. Now, you would have been more than full with just the one fajita. Actually, you probably mm-hmm. wouldn't have been. But you'd have been, uh, you would have been good with the one fajita, but you wanted more. My point being is, you as a 17 year old person does not think about the stuff that I'm that you're saying. My point is your target market that you're going for, the people you're trying to appeal to, right? Um, okay, case in point, Michelle Obama went on the tour to talk about better eating, health, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. You have kids in the system when she was doing some of this, right? And you don't know what the actual messaging was and how it worked because the target market isn't there. Like, I don't, like, I have no idea who she was speaking to directly. No, I, like, I hear stuff in the background. But, but that's right? the message. Now, but, and I, but my point is, you think as people that we are invincible as, as kids, period, man. So it comes out of parents. It can't come from the mass market. It's got to be the parents. And Yeah, but the mass marketing market. goes to the parents. It's Hold not up. just to the kids. Because, okay, but, I, I, I changed as I got older, right? I grew up in a household. Not physically, you know, he means mentally. Not physically. Yeah. You know, I was having four mentally. sodas a day. We used to fly up to America and come back with a suitcase full of fruit roll-ups, Doritos, Lego my Lego waffles, all that stuff. Like that's what I used to take to school, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because yeah, it's no better. Move on. You know? Um, yeah. Okay. Then, but you know, I was in college. What... I was I was microwaving pre-made breakfast, like. Scramble eggs, bacon, and sausage, like already cooked. Like mm-hmm. it's bad enough, like if you cook it, but like the, it, it's just it, it's completely processed foods. But as you get older, there's more information. You can choose if you want to um, learn about the information, accept the information, and make a lifestyle change or not. Many people hear it and they don't want to make a lifestyle change. But the point is, for you, it's all <laughs> for you. It's ninety five percent visual. Is is why you you will enjoy food. But you know what? You'll kick, you won't have this sugary drink today because you, you don't need it because of the visual aspect. I don't understand whether it's visual or whether it's all uh, health, how those don't now click in 2021 for everybody. And again, I'm pre- I preach moderation. Many people preach like, 
complete hard nose for the shit. I'm like moderation. Mm -hmm. well, like. Because that like, no, because that becomes the message. Messaging is like all or none. Right? No, maybe that's part of it. It, it should be moderate. That's part, that's part but of but the problem is everything. also then it's disproportionately so in two minority communities. And we've talked about food deserts. Cost. It's, it's, it's ignorant. No, it's not just cost. It's not just cost. Maybe Again, water costs it's the cost. same amount of sodas. Water costs the same amount of sodas. So it's not just about cost. No, but sodas, I get a free refill. And no, I no, no. Get to go You're going into the bodega and buying a can of Sprite or a, or a bottle of Sprite. Versus Many times it's actually cheaper than soda, I'll have you know. Those little cans can be cheaper, for, like, legitimately. Okay. Sometimes water ain't cheap, and this is a yeah. huge issue. Uh, also, water sell. can be free when you just walk around with your junk in your house. So you spend a $30 thing on buying a can of water, and you have water out. New York City tap water is supposed to be great. Yeah. You have that for my, a year, free water. My cousin, yeah. who's been on the show, hates water because there's no flavor water. to it. I grew up hating water. Right? I love it. Yeah. I don't. In high school, I did not understand when people were like, I want water. I was like, that's just weird. I don't get it. Do you know why I used to drink water in high school, et cetera? Cost, straight up. Because it was cheaper than getting soda. That's all it was. But I would get like water from a fountain or whatever else, right? Because I was because it was cheap. Yeah, you drink out of plastic bottles. You're killing the world in one place, but trying to save your body. Well done, now, man. No, I live in a well done, look, I live in a, I live in a hotel right sorry. now. I don't even have I'm a fridge. Sorry. I have no way to I'm get sorry. water. So, uh, I don't even have oh, my really? Stuff. There's no way to get water. There's no way to get water put in your kitchen. Moderation. <laughs> you just kill the world a little bit. Good call. All right, thanks. This also, guy. not good to drink out because this is probably sat for. Dozens of hours in the back of a truck getting heated up, so also not healthy, but moderation. Also, it's in a plastic bottle. But my point is, you got to the the people you're trying to convince of it. You got to find what what motivates them. The future health benefits is not what about motivates motivation. them Period. if it's not about visually not being huge or then that's not it. But dying. that's never been. But that's, or not that's dying. never I, been the sales. Those are the two not things. Dying, dying, it's not part of the thought. Your kid isn't part of your thought. And it's not just kids, though. Kid. Like you said, it comes from the house because the parents teach. The kids are only learning from the parents. The parents and the kids are damn not going to die either. Nobody thinks your kids are going to die until they're out of the picture. Death is not part of the sales pitch. Nobody. But I'm saying the parents for themselves. When, the they, when they for themselves. can't breathe, having heart issues, going to the hospital, and this, it's it's also okay. So three issues. But you, then, but then what happens? Time, time, like you say too far down the what about the long term costs? The nobody long term fractions that. How many like I tell you? Nobody. Thinks how about do people not get that? People don't think about the future. How much? How much savings do you have, son? Do you have ample savings in your four hundred one k for all the recommendations to take care of you, your wife, and your kids post retirement? I'm gonna go out of limb and say no. No. Fair okay, but if you have some, it. But this is this is this is a hard nose. There's say? no thought. Fair to say. Yes, you do not have enough per the standard recommendation to ensure yeah, that you, your wife, and your two kids yes. take care of. Yeah, you do, and now two dogs. You've known about this forever. The dogs, <laughs> the dogs have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I gotta take care of the dogs if I'm gone. <laughs> hey man, can't in the streets, bro. They're dogs. <laughs> dogs need home. Winnie and Kobe need a place to stay. My point is, you have you have the situation right. You've known about this forever. Yet your money has gone elsewhere. You put a little bit here, but you put a bunch someplace else, or whatever the the, the, the percentage split is. But you've known this forever. Forever forty, you've known this for at least twenty years. Yeah, and I would venture to guess that you have not put the appropriate amount in over these twenty years. Right, but as I'm older, for whatever reason, a lot more aggressive and thinking like that. This is my point. As so, when people get older, like you, yeah, but when the people are getting older, they're not taking the food changes. No, well, why? Right. Your point is to be me. No, they do. Everybody's like, oh, I feel like I feel they they think about food changes, but uh, but uh, it's it's more difficult to that point to 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 affect change. But they do think about it. Go about things about it all the time. Okay, lock home maybe enough. not so much. Think about uh, um, think about it doing it. Or think about it all the time. Things. Now they're but again to take the scary part. It. The scary part is how disproportionately so it's in these communities. Cost. It's the number one killer. But it's not just cost. It's not just cost. Food deserts, right? And ignorance. It's not just cost. Convenience. You can give me sometimes convenience for certain things, right? Yeah, okay, People sorry. Using, convenience. Right? I'm putting but if you can cost the sit ins, you're right. If, if if there's also because again, like this shit. I'm a Whole Foods. Whole Foods water. 
For those who are in an auto, in an auto you can't find cheaper water than Whole Foods water. water. You seventy nine cents, something this big, for a bottle yeah. of water, well, right? Trader so, Joe's. But either way, continue. Okay. Oh, Trader Joe's at best, except their produce doesn't last long. But if you want good yeah. quality stuff, produce and stuff, Trader Joe's, you can get good stuff. It's just it doesn't yeah, last long. Day. It's cheap. Yeah. So there's options for healthier food that are cheaper. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. a lot of it is a lot more expensive. A lot more. A lot of a lot of things, right? But your basic necessities, you can find stuff. We can find stuff in the communities we live in. In these urban neighborhoods, they don't have access to this. So they don't. So for who those that is, would want it's the plight. So America is fixes. your target market. You got to preach to the kids about what the kids want. And right now you're preaching. No, but to, it comes from the house. It's, it's preaching to the kids. Man, Mexico just banned. Mexico just banned cartoon characters on cereals. Like like Tony the Tiger is gone. Tony El Tigre, no mas. He's gone, right? Mexico banned that because it's it's subliminal. Sub, sub, you go. One more you know, time. <laughs> no, no. One more time. How does, how does that work? How does that work? What it's, was that word? It's subconscious marketing to the kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? What's the word? Come on, man. Subliminal. Subliminal. One more. Subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Time to move on. We've been on this for a while. I mean, well, I guess we're going to touch on this next episode as well. So might as well yeah. move on. All right. Here's, here's your solutions thing. versus just better. We're, we're talking about things we, we talked about in the past. So, like food deserts, we talked about. and. Um, back a little bit about cancel culture. So Seinfeld is coming to Netflix soon, correct? But they are not adding the Puerto Rican Day Parade episode, correct? Um, as a fellow Puerto Rican, I feel like I should be offended by it. No, so I thought they were canceling it because of you know the guy, the gay guys that go, "She talking to me? Is he talking? Yeah. Are you talking to me?" Yeah. Right? I. That no. guy's in Bad Boys too. I don't know if he's a Cuban or Puerto Rican, but he's in Bad Boys as well. Oh, is it? Either so, way, it's because Kramer, a character in Seinfeld, um, accidentally burned the, burnt the flag, a Puerto Rican flag, and stepped on it. And because of that, we're not putting the episode on. Like this cancel yeah. culture thing is going. I mean, it's been way too far, but that is asinine. Asinine. We're not doing that. Agree. Then agree. Um, the Office, I guess, is coming to Netflix or is on Netflix. But they've removed five uh, five episodes, or maybe that's five it's episodes. Leaving, it's part. leaving Netflix and going to Peacock. Okay, so they're not including the diversity episode, um, oh. in which Michael spoke with an Indian accent, right? Yeah. Um, and there was something else in there, and I'm like, it's comedy, guys. I, I give a pass to comedians a comedy. It's not. You know, it's not the same as what's going on where Disney took out some shows like the, um, what's the one, Dumbo, I think it was, or something from 1941 mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that, Have blackface. that, yes, minstrel shows and rid of, that's completely different, right? Um, and I wouldn't be, I, I, the reason I'm okay with that is that that's targeted to kids and it subliminal messaging, right? Mm -hmm. If it was like just a movie in general that, I would be completely fine with that, right? But that that's the way things, it, it, it's creative licensing, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm cool, but you, it's comedy. Like this cancer culture is something is just, it's just vexing me, I don't know. But this is, okay, two things. One is you stole my notes. Sec two is- I, both You have that <laughs> These are both my notes that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I don't know. I are you really? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, oh, where? I don't see the link in the whole nine under. There is oh, the diversity <laughs> episode of The Office. <laughs> Set Oh wow, and yeah. a link. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that show prep. Actually, some show prep, my friend. Well done. Yeah. Well All done. Right. But here's the thing, right? The cancel culture thing. And to your point, it's it's gone. Like I mean, just the ridiculous extremes, right? And the other problem with that too is is you have. Both sides of the political spectrum fighting for cancel culture on both sides of things, which is making things very difficult because the people on the left are fighting against cancel culture relates to certain things, and the people on the right are fighting against cancel culture to certain things. And how much, the, how much on the left is fighting against cancel culture? I feel like um, more when, it, when it relates to, well, it, if the people on the right 
are are fighting it. So they're fighting. So when the people on the right are going, uh, I hate cancel culture, but boycott wool stores says mandate masks. Or Nike. Well, the writers and the people on the left are saying, ridiculous, we're not doing that. That's cancel culture is too far. That's crazy talk. And then vice versa. So my point is both sides are fighting against it when it meets their own uh, political needs. Things like this and the cultural issue. So I have a certain, I, I, have, a, I have a strong passion for film and TV and it bothers me because I'm torn between many things. So there was a, there was a thing that came out about, uh, Denzel was talking about, um, I think they were doing an interview for Fences and I don't know if it was a film you ever saw, but filmed, it was him, it was uh, uh, Viola Davis and a bunch of other people. Anyway, somebody was asking him, the question was proposed, I'm paraphrasing, in regards to whether or not, uh, in regards to uh, the value add of having a black director direct a film versus, had it versus a white director. And he said, it's a cultural thing. Um, he said the black director would understand, and again, I'm paraphrasing. He goes, it's not a matter of qualifications. Can one person do it over the other? But it's a matter of one person understanding the innate cultural aspects associated with a quote unquote film. I, um, he mentioned uh, a warm comb through your hair on a Sunday morning. Now, I don't know what that means because I'm not black. And apparently that's a thing that some black people understand. But this was a situation. I was like, I don't get what that means. But ready for church. One more time. Probably getting ready for church. Yeah, but the comb's, the comb's got to be warm. Yeah, the, the hair. Okay. Again, that's my point. I, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> no idea what that means. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, literally, when he said that, I was like, that's definitely inside baseball because I don't know what's going on here. So that was his thought process, right? But now what's going to happen, which is going to annoy me, is you're going to see, uh, because, again, we do these strong corrections. So now you're going to see, for example, uh, Shanky. Right, was uh, the new Marvel film. So you had Asian stars, et cetera, et cetera. So you have, have an Asian director. And you're going to see a proliferation of this. When you have a significant story being told about a certain culture, you're going to have to have a director from that culture, from that, from that culture that directs that product. The problem with that is just because another person is black doesn't mean they understand the dynamic of what's going on in the story. And just because somebody else is Asian, they may not understand the dynamic. Just, hell, I'm Indian. You're telling me I can direct an Indian film? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? No, but, but, somebody from India, but somebody from India could have meaning. But still, meaning. they may not know the same fight. It's so big. You and I grew up in Jamaica. You think I can tell the story of Usain going up in Jamaica the same way I can about you and I grew up in Jamaica? No. No, but probably, better, but probably better, so better than come well, from Walla Walla, Walla, Washington. You're right. But my point is the consideration should be given, but Good. the not just a hard the, yeah. Correct. So I assume that this is an assumption. I'm I assume there's going to be this, 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 this limiting of your choices to ensure that you have somebody re representative of that culture telling that story. Um, and I yeah. don't know if that's right. Right. But because we have to go to every extreme, because that's where we operate as a people and as society, I think that that's what's going to happen, which is going to be unfortunate, I think. And hopefully I'm proven wrong, but that's kind of the things that I'm seeing right now. So uh continue what else you got for me what, what time is it we're, we're good on time go ahead um i lost here okay tell me so you didn't do any prep um <laughs> did you want to talk oh, did, did oh. you want to talk about oh okay. oh oh um or maybe we'll save that for the next episode all right go on okay uh do you, do you want to please tell me what that was so i know what we're saving so i don't speak <laughs> no oh. no no uh <laughs> real that's quick. gonna be interesting bad news, bad news in acting I heard he was you know, when people die, you hear a lot of good things about people, and sometimes you don't really hear much. <laughs> it kind of gives you the idea of the character. Michael K. Williams mm -hmm. um, died uh, evidently of an apparent drug overdose. Um, so I didn't know the cause of death, so right now, that's interesting. I, be I, believe, I, did not know the cause of death. I believe it was a drug overdose. Okay. Uh, I, I could you be wrong, but I, place or are you speculating? Yeah, I read that, but I'm not sure how much I now validate that. Um, anyway. He was, man, he was an actor in so many good shows. The Wire, probably most famous yep. for Into the Night, Boardwalk Empire. What else was there? Oz. Um, Lovecraft. The Lovecraft Country, which we talked about um, on an earlier episode of the show, which was fascinating. Um, talk dealing you with- this, Once you get further from the mic while you're telling us. Dealing with the- uh, intricacies of living in a Jim Crow era as a black individual. Uh, so sad news in the acting world. 
Did it actually affect you? What's up? Are you just are you expressing condolences? Has it truly affected you? No, it's just sad. You know, it's it's it doesn't affect me. I didn't know him. See that? And, okay, this is one of my other. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't affect. It doesn't affect me, right? You know, there's, no, because er, people are great. Everybody's out there. Not everybody. No people are out there going oh and posting stuff and like man, gonna miss yeah, you. Yeah, but people blah, have blah, a connection. Right? Like when a certain musician dies, if you do. People yeah, I don't get that. I don't understand that. No, but if you've grown up listening, like, to to, to music and it's it's had spiritual meaning, to, I, I completely get that. Where people have this See, connection. I'm, I'm, I'm on the outside in there. I guess I'm just dead on the inside. Like, I don't get that. Like, if I don't know you, I it's I, I mean, or maybe I just haven't had somebody. Uh, maybe I just haven't had the experience. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's just uh, a, a, a to be you know, a, a, a coming attraction is not attraction, but something to come in the future. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel what you're saying. It doesn't really affect me. It's just, it's, it's sad. Anything you see on the news, it's yeah, sad. It you know, it, it, it does suck. It, it, it's, it's, yeah. That was. Uh, I didn't know, uh, and I didn't know what was going on there, but it definitely is. Um, yeah, it, it definitely is, is, is problematic there and unfortunate. Um, uh, the Rona, Jamaica got upgraded to a, a forewarning by the U.S. State Department, meaning don't go there. Um, which is foolish. I mean, they have versus other, it's like 77 countries have it. Um, they've been a three forever. Many other islands have a four. Uh, they do have protocols in place. I mean, nothing, I mean, shit, I'd say better, obviously better protocols in Florida, but who doesn't have better protocols in Florida? Um, <laughs> true, fair point. Uh, but it's, I know somebody just, a tourist who just went there again now and went there last year during COVID and, they feel completely safe and they're annoying protocols. I remember last year I had to sanitize. It's, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Respiratory. It's respiratory disease. <laughs> but I'm sanitizing <laughs> to go to the beach, literally. And there's, when I say this is like a private area, so there's nobody within a hundred yards. And the man is screaming. I think we talked about this on the show. The man is screaming, sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Um, so there are protocols in place. And, uh, it's true. There have not been many tourist related, though there's been a spike in COVID overall. It hasn't been so tourist related because, you know, most people are taking their precautions and the vaccines coming in and testing. And so go to Jamaica, people. Keep the economy going. They, trust me, they need it. No, no it's true. I'll support that. Uh, I was just there a few weeks back as well. So I support that. And uh, And I mean, again, in the resorts and whatever else, like, you're pretty much in a cocoon, even though you wouldn't realize it, meaning that the amount of tests and whatever you got to do to get in and get out, that's anywhere really. Uh, well, many places. Uh, like apparently Greece is the new hotspot right now. Apparently Greece is the Croatia of a couple of years ago, where everyone, the grandmothers in every picture from everybody in Greece all of a sudden. Wow. And Spain, those are the two hotspots that I see actually as well. Take that back, sorry, Greece and Italy, not Spain. Um, uh, going back real quick, is forewarning a word or is it just warning? Like, is warning not forewarning? Like, is it a redundant word? Like, do we need it? Is this one of those Webster's creations? Like, I'm always confused about this one. Oh, huh. if we're going there, I'm not sure. I mean, the same thing. Apostrophes don't make things plural, people. <laughs> That's going to be the title of the episode, by the way. I mean, what the frig? <laughs> And it's like you're talking about your family, the Jaguanis, I apostrophe S. No. Yeah. No, I hey, I'm with you. you I just you know, I, when I, do that. They put like to make your family plural? Or, or the, the like I, I just don't get it. Yeah. When I hear forewarning, it always bothers me. Um so on on, on a lighter note, the trailer for Matrix uh, came out today. Oh, I saw I saw it quite a few days ago. Come on, bro. No, no, you saw a teaser quite a few days ago. The trailer came out today. No, but I saw several teasers put together. The trailer came out today. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again because this guy's gonna say what he's saying. <laughs> being by oh, this guy over here, but you know, false advertising over here. The, the trailer being coming out today, being September 9th. Is that um, is that in your top? Is the Matrix? I guess what do you call that? Anthology? Is that name? I know it's a trilogy, but what's an anthology? I don't know the answer to that question. Thank you. And I don't. Is would you put um, the Matrix in your top five movies of all time? The first one, yeah. The first one, the other two were the first one was a, a whoa experience, um, which is uh very counted, but yeah, that came out today. 
And Apple is doing its release next Tuesday at 914 of all its products with very minimal upgrades, but for a lot more money. So as expected every year, um, Apple consistently disappoints me in putting out products that look cool, that are cool, but uh, I'm locked in as because I've got everything here. So they've got my business, which is a sad reality. But yeah, they're going to put out mediocre products next weekend. But they're going to have better cameras, apparently. Apparently, that's what I care about, is a better camera on my phone to film stuff versus my phone actually being smaller slash cooler. But that's my... Uh -huh. My personal fight there. Yeah, remember when we used, remember how excited we used to be for Apple product? You waited in line on South Beach, the you? first one. Yeah. Nope. In in, in Doral, but tomatoes. But the first oh, one, yes. Right. iPhone one. You're right. I mean, and oh, even after that, we used to be. We used to. We used to I mean, we used to. Because it was cool. They'd come out with we'd, phones. We'd look on all these websites, then trying to figure out what's gonna happen. It's the same phone for us. I day. could give a crap. It's the same phone that goes, "Hey, we got a better camera." I don't give a crap, man. I need twelve cameras in the back of my phone. Right, but Samsung to their Samsung is horrible at marketing. We talk about marketing a lot on this. Meaning Samsung has a flip phone that's pretty effing could be pretty cool. Well, Samsung has all the features we get a year and a half or a year, yeah. two years later. But how I ask you what's what's a Samsung flip phone name? I have no idea. I've seen the ad. That's my point. They're marketing <laughs> is garbage. It's something, something three hundred blah 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 whatever whatever. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Remember Motorola just said the Razor. You knew what the hell you were getting. Yeah. And you got like, you had all these things that had one name that were just dope and you were getting. Not the numbers, man. Get away from numbers. How the, like, iPhone was a simple name. And that's what you knew you are getting. I'm seeing it's a Z Flip 3 5G. Thank you. F you. F you, <laughs> Samsung. And whoever your marketing team is, fire them. They're, they're and then I'm, and then I'm seeing it. On, that's on AT&T and Verizon. But on Samsung, it's called different. It's called the Z Fold 3 5G. Yeah. <laughs> fire your entire marketing cool whoever your marketing company is are garbage right they are just straight basura that is horrible like yeah, come on man get a get a name that works that i can remember the fact that i can't remember your phone doesn't mean anything this proof point that your marketing is garbage to, to, and to mean, me i mean you didn't know it either so it's 100 percent of the population to end the show thank you agree boom jason knows what i'm talking about jason just said agree respect jason yeah jason who Sorry. oh what up your people are watching us live right now, idiot. Person. Person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I don't think we've ever announced it. We, when we do these episodes, they are random, but we do go on Facebook Live. <laughs> Big us money. Because certain people can't show up on time to the designated. We established that today. We already, we already oh, talked about your two things. We're gonna, like, two things we're going to finish. He mentioned earlier he's got a calendar. This guy, it irks me. He sends me his Calendly. His calendly and I want yeah. to box him. Like, it just bothers me. I don't know why. It just bothers me that he, I'm like, yo, can we do the show Tuesday? And he goes, check my calendar. I'm like, no, jackass, you Here. check your calendar. Jason, again, people have work. into the studio, brethren. They all don't live at hotels and live in the resort life. We have work to do. No, no, I need so to text you. Yo, you can do this time. And you say, no, I cannot. However, I can do this time. Girl, let me just waste a lot oh, of my so time. Then it makes me, I, can't just, I then have to put in my name and my email address. Enough times I'm like, F you at you Gmail put, or chuck off you put at it all, yeah. And then I get emails that come in all the time going, this was an error. This email address doesn't exist because <laughs> it sends something else me out there. I think uh, it would send you a reminder. No, you say, hey, why are you have a meeting? Lastly, I think he denied this earlier in the show, maybe like third, fourth, fifth episode. You talk about names you can remember. Amit, aka Puff, aka Jagga B when we were younger, which makes no sense because yeah, that was not good. Yeah, B. B in my name. It's yeah, like yo, Jagga from Jaguana, just flinging yeah, a beat. Yeah, yeah. So, Jagga B. I don't know how that worked. In Miami in our in our gallivanting days, he used to go around as J to the ladies, randomly. Yeah, and that, Alex oh. before that. Mm -hmm. No, no, my bad. Same Alex Gobes is J. You were Alex. No, go go Paul is Alex. I was also oh, everybody was Alex at some point in the <laughs> And then Jay was after. We, we have all, all right. go Paul is still Alex, but continue. Uh what is it? His nom de plume pseudonym. That's it. Wow, just that odd. went nowhere. No. Just odd. <laughs> right? just, say it's just odd. Just odd. It was odd that because I've I've a I've a, cult, a a name that's not culturally that's not it could be intriguing. standard it in this country. No, don't, don't go into the colonizing mindset. Right? No, it was a matter your, of your, your heritage has no J's or like Alex. It is, it it's is, colonial it is mindset. The, 
it is actually there are a bunch of Alex's, the whole Christian side of the Indian situation. We're not getting into all that, but but where did that come is, from? Your ancestors, I'm saying, deep back, they yeah. didn't have that. This is the colonial mindset, post-colonial conditioning. For me, it was the Dr. barrier Monique, of busy. entry. <laughs> barrier to entry. If I'm trying to talk to a girl, I don't want to give her any situations to not talk to me. So I got to make sure I go in with an easy name that she can hopefully remember, <laughs> and then we can progress. That was the only basis for any any non de plume. It was mm -hmm. that. It was to make Episode sure. Episode seventeen, people. Fascinating discussion with the brilliant doctor and professor. Monique Badezi talking about post-colonial conditioning, which evidently my co-host had at some point. Be better, justice over order. Except I ate better the whole life. So pick your poison. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, right. Still Apple issues. We have Apple. This no, no Apple this week, but still yeah. we need reviews and, and, and ratings on Apple because the last two weeks they haven't Yo, even posted. Do us a so. favor. If you guys can just hit share on this one to whomever in your social situation and whoever's listening, please. Subscribe to the IB show at whatever medium you're listening to on the YouTubes, on the interwebs, at the uh, at the AIB show .com. All the places that are there. All these episodes are there. Check us out on Instagram. Videos are there. Yeah, I missed mean, got all these episodes. The videos up on YouTube. Um, check out the website. He's put interesting, yeah. uh, pretty dope pictures for the episodes. You can explore stuff. And on Instagram, we have exclusive content usually every Friday. Much shorter episode. Yeah. Not going with the joke. Not going with the joke. Much shorter episodes <laughs> on Instagram. Check us out. Be better, Justice Award. Eat better. Take it easy. All right.